In this video, I'm going to show you how to refill your Epson 212 ink cartridge. So, so I'm just going to refill the black ink cartridge. You can also refill the color ink cartridge using this method. You will see these cartridges. Now I'll show you when it's an ideal time to refill it. For that, first go to your printer. Switch on the printer. Go to the ink section on the top and press OK. Here you will see our black ink is almost less than half. Now whenever you have a low ink in your ink cartridge, you should refill it that time. Otherwise, once it is completely empty, your printer will ask you to replace it with the new ink cartridge. Unlock the printhead. So switch on the printer and unplug it quickly. Remove the ink cartridge you want to refill. So this is the 212 ink cartridge. We have to make a hole so that we can just put the ink inside. If we look in the ink cartridge, you have to make a hole between the 212 and the black. So that's almost somewhere here. Even if on this side we see, there's one box like structure we will feel here so we have to place it here now you can make a hole with the drill usually that was the easiest way or you can use a very sharp screwdriver you can also take a iron solder and just make a hole with the hot tip so it will exactly make the hole here just make a small hole and now I'll push this in so hole is created so if I push it in yeah it goes in so there is no ink as we push it in we can't see any ink in this next is to take your black ink You can fill up to 4 to 5 ml. So I'm just going to use around 4 ml of the ink. Insert it here and just fill this chamber. I'm just going to put two extra ml because it really feels like it's not having anything inside. So that is enough. Now we have to seal this part take the hot glue gun and just seal this part so I'm going to use the hot glue gun here so on, the, this, on this tip I'm just going to place it little bit so that it just blocks or seals this passage so it is sealed let it dry now make sure when you are making a hole, it's always on a square. So where the Epson is written, there is a square you can feel. There is a circle in this side and some other structures. Look for this bigger square and just make a hole on the top of that so that the ink can flow in this chamber. Now it will move to the chamber 1 and chamber 2. So once we do that, now I'm just going to place it back. When you refill the ink cartridge, you will see that it will display ink here so if you move it too much the ink will go down but if you move it like this and if you look if you look at it from the top it should be black that means the ink is there 
place the ink cartridge press it down close the ink close the printer switch on your printer never refill your ink while doing the replacement through the printer because once you click on the replacement then it won't take it back properly once you plug in the power cable wait for the printer to read the ink cartridges once you see the icon of the ink on the top click on it and press ok you will see the ink cartridge has no issues and it is recognized as it was before we just refilled the ink before it was going to empty let's do some printing Now we have to do the print head cleaning. But we will wait for the few prints to come up before we do the print head cleaning. On the second print more ink has started to appear. So definitely we need the print head cleaning. Go to the printer display panel. Go to the home screen and click on the maintenance. Scroll down and do the print head cleaning and click on the start. So it's going to take around 2 to 3 minutes. So just finish that. We can see print head cleaning is done. Click on the check nozzle and click on the print. So it's going to print a nozzle check sheet. So we can clearly see the print result has improved and the black ink has started to work normally. Now if you see any broken lines, for example I have some broken lines or broken segment in the color ink you can just proceed on the printer display panel and do the print head cleaning again so if you select the X it will take you to the print head cleaning if you do more print head cleanings the result will improve now right now I'm just going to click on the circle so that is done now let's do the copy again and see if the copy result has improved or not
So our print head has started to work normally. The black ink is working. This way we can refill the ink and start using it. Thanks for watching.